Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to project and georeference a raster image or a map. To get a map or raster image, we can use Google Earth Pro. So opening the Google Earth Pro, we have created a folder named points. Then we have searched for Dhaka as I have decided to um, georeference the map of Dhaka city. So we have to search Dhaka here. After searching, it will take us to exactly Dhaka city area. We will be able to see that uh, it will uh, show so many roads and other things. So we are going to ignore all the things as we are just trying to get the clear image of Dhaka city area. First of all, we need we need some points. We just saw that the points were in decimal minutes and seconds. We have just converted uh, them to decimal degrees from tools then we have started to take some points it is better to get as much as points as you can uh, i'm taking four points here so first of all i'm taking point one and we can also um, uh, modify the symbology here i'm taking this symbol to show the points on the image and the coordinates of the image are also shown there we can also change the color of the symbology likewise we are going to take some other points and it is better to take the points as um, being in a little bit far from each other we are taking another point and why are we actually trying to georeference an image or a raster actually when we will try to open an image or a raster map in arcgis along with the map or the image there should be uh, placed the information that of which location of the art the map is actually situated then after taking the points uh, we just um, copy those points to our uh, points folder and paste those there just we just drag those there and after uh, that we try to save as place and uh, save this at kmz format giving them the name of points and you can uh, uh, take them to any folder you want then we uh, try to save this image from google art and we can see that there are default uh, legend and map title there we are, re we are removing those as we are trying to just get the clear image of the area then we um, uh, modify the resolution we give it to maximum resolution and then we save our image and we know that we didn't project this image we are just taking uh, just like a snapshot from google earth here it's unprojected so we are naming this image of dhaka city area as unprojected then we have saved saved it after that our work in google earth pro is quite done and now we have uh, opened our art map software then we open our catalog and table of contents here after that we connect the folder that we want to work on or save our um, save our outputs or get our data as i have saved the unprojected image here so i am um, searching or co connecting that folder through this folder connection then i uh, open this unprojected image on here and we can see that it's giving a warning that the image doesn't um, own or has any coordinate system or spatial references okay we can also see from the uh, properties of the uh, image that the spatial reference is undefined here and the coordinate system is also unknown 
the warning makes us understand that the image is not georeferenced so now we will be needing a tool named KML to layer because we have taken some points from Google Earth Pro and uh, uh, stored them in a KML or KMZ file now we are trying to um, convert those KML points and take them as layers in ArcMap because we want to overlay those points on this unprojected image so we are dragging our inputting those K uh, that KML file that we have saved earlier and uh, we don't have to uh, actually modify the output we, ju we just zoom to the layer points and we will go to customize then toolbars and to the georeferencing toolbars and uh, it will appear on the top then we will click fit to display to perfectly overlay the points of the image this vector points have to be connected with the points on the image for that we have to uh, take the at control points tool and click on the points of the image we will zoom on to the points and it should be as accurate as possible we will click on the points of the image then we will click on the points of the corresponding layer point after clicking the points will get merged together and always remember that we have to click on the points of the image first not in the layer points after connecting the one we will connect the point two and sometimes if you get confused at which one is the point of the image and which one is the point of the uh, vec uh, of the layer simply remember that when we zoom onto the layer points it gets smaller and larger but if we zoom onto the points of the image it gets large like you can see in here the point 3 is quite larger because it is the point of the image and uh, even if we are uh, zooming on point 3 of the layer it, it is getting uh, smaller and smaller and if you um, take any uh, wrong points or any wrong uh, control points if you unintentionally click on any wrong um, location you can uh, delete those control points from the georeferencing toolbar uh, just most right side uh, tool is used to view the uh, control points that you have taken you can delete those from there now we have uh, perfectly uh, put on the four points and we have we are clicking update georeferencing to update our unprojected image and get it georeferenced now we will be needing another tool named project raster and we will use this project raster tool to add a corresponding coordinate system to our unprojected map or raster image we are giving uh, the input raster as the unprojected image and we can see that it, it also wants to know the input coordinate system so remember uh, whatever image that we extract from or take from the google earth pro it actually contains an undefined wgs 1984 coordinate system then uh, we will save our output or projected georeferenced image on a location any location that you want and we also have to now give the coordinate system that we want it to be in actually um, my study area or Dhaka city has its corresponding projected coordinate system that you can see here you can also add these uh, coordinate systems to favorites to use it as many times as you want now if i want to click ok i can see that output name of the raster is quite long so we have to take this as a short raster name i have made this move and in, uh, intentionally so that we can understand the problems now our image is georeferenced remember that you have to take the coordinate system according to your study area which you will find on google simply we can see the output and i have removed it and dragged it again here and we can see that there is no warning 
so we can assume that it is already georeferenced and projected we are also cross checking it from the properties and uh, we can see that there is the uh, special reference and the coordinate system here thank you for watching